Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, EC QuickBooks Training. I am glad to be back here recording videos for you. To start off, I will be recording a mini QuickBooks Basic series. In this series, I will go over some of the basic components of QuickBooks Online. That way, it will help you set up QuickBooks correctly and navigate through QuickBooks so you can work better. So keep a lookout for the following videos. In today's video, I will start with building your foundation and that is through the chart of accounts so let's get started a lot of people miss this but your foundation starts with the chart of accounts it is so important to set this up before you start doing anything in quickbooks so let's take a look at the chart of accounts to access the chart of accounts, let's go into the bookkeeping tab and then select chart of accounts. It's important to look at this first before you start working in QuickBooks, but let's say you have already been working in QuickBooks. I encourage you to go into the chart of accounts and just take a look at it and clean it up. It's important because the chart of accounts is your foundation to your financial statements. Some of the things that you could do to clean it up is inactivate unused accounts, or if you have duplicates, you can actually merge the accounts. And I'll show you how to do that. Let me just move my screen over here to the, to the right side. Um, each account has, uh, we could look at the register, of course, but then we have this arrow where we can edit. In order to duplicate an account, if we see that there, and this is a bad example because it's accounts receivable, but let's see this account right here, depreciation. Let's say we have two accumulative depreciations. What we can do to merge is to name the other account exactly as this one. It has to be the same account type, a same account detail. Um, if it's uh, a sub account, Make sure it's a sub account. If it's not a sub account, uncheck this, and then the name has to be the same. Then you will get a um, a do you want to merge these accounts? Let me see if I can create um, do this one fix asset vehicles. Okay, let's take a look at this account. Let's see if I can use this as an example. And I have a truck account, and then I'm going to want to save and close. Let's see if we get that message. Yep. See, it says, please confirm. The name is already in use. Do we want to merge it? We just want to say yes. And then the accounts have been merged. So there's only one uh, truck account. So that's one of the things that you can do if you see some duplicate accounts. Another tip I can give you is for your cost of goods, do not create sub accounts for cost of goods. Uh, the reason why is because it's already a section. Um, let me take a look at the cost of goods account. It's already a section, so you don't need to put cost of goods labor under cost of goods because it's already a section in your financials. And let me show you what I mean. So we have three cost of separate cost of goods accounts. Let me go into, um, let me go into the financials and show you what I mean. So here is a quick preview of a, uh, profit and loss. As we could see here, we have the cost of labor and we, ca and we have supplies and material. So this is what I mean. It's has its own section on the financial statement on the PL. So you don't need to put cost of labor under cost of good because then it would be sub account of cost of good under cost of sold cost of goods sold and you will probably see it as a two tier or three tier accounts and that just gets very hard to read really messy really fast so i do not recommend sub accounts for cost of goods sold so another tip is when you create a commissions account under expense 
um, I wouldn't put the person's name as an account. For example, I wouldn't want to put um, commission expense and then under that um, expense account put John, Lisa, Michael. I wouldn't want to do that. Why? Because we have the Venture Center for that. And I will uh, touch more on that topic when I talk about the Vendor Center. But you don't want to see a list of names. You just want to see commission expense. If you want to look at the details of who you paid, then you can actually just run a report for that expense account. Just run a report and then look at the names and you can even sort by name. You can group transactions by name and you could see it that way. That's just a tip because I have seen that a lot. And it just, like I said, the p l gets long and messy. You don't want to have um, that on your chart of accounts. Another question I have been asked is importing chart of accounts if you are able to do so. And you are. You are able to import into QuickBooks Online chart of accounts. Let's take a look at that together. I usually don't. I like to have a little bit more control of it and I just manually add or adjust, delete, well not delete, inactivate accounts. But let's take a look at that import. Go to the gear icon and then import data. You can actually import your chart of accounts and they will give you a template to use um, to be able to import. So all you have to do is download that sample and add the accounts that you want to import and then um, go ahead and browse and upload the file. I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, we'll see what happens. So like I said, I haven't done this. I don't do this, but let's work through it together. So let's click next. I added a account that's already in the chart of accounts. I just wanted to see how it's going to work um, if there's duplicates. So it says QuickBooks Online field, detail type. So we want to match it to the columns of the CSV file. Accounts name is account name, account number. So that's why they give you a sample. So it already has that um, set up for you. I'm going to click next. And let's see here. Five accounts are ready to be imported. This is the one, Pest Control Services is the one that I... Um, I did it as a duplicate. It's already in the chart of accounts, but it's saying that um, they're good to go. So I'm going to click import. Oh, see, it did catch it. So it says three of five successfully imported. We didn't import some of your data because it's already in you. So that's a good thing. So if it's already in the chart of accounts, it will not let you import it. So let's um, uncheck this and um, import, and we are done. So let's go back to the chart of accounts. And here is the money market Wells Fargo. Here's the Wells Fargo bank account. That's pretty much it. I mean, it, that was not so bad, actually. It was not so bad. Um, it was fairly quick, but I do think that you will spend time in adding it to that CSV file. So you just have to consider what you want to do. If you have a long list of chart of accounts um, or you want to make sure that they're in there, that's a good way to, to do it, to import your chart of accounts. One thing I just thought about is what if we change the account type of those duplicate um, account numbers. So I want to try it again and I want to see if by changing the account type, will it let me import? So bear with me here. I'm just curious. As we know, all these have been imported, but I'm going to change the detail type of this one to maybe service fee. Um, let's see, income service fee. What else I can change to, to maybe oh, this Wells Fargo to expense. I'm not changing the name. I'm just changing the account type. Um, and let's just put insurance just as an example. I want to see if it will import. 
Oh, it does not. Okay. That is good to know that they do go off of the names. They don't go off of what the type or detail type. I was just curious about that. So I'm glad I did share this with you guys. So we are sure that it goes off of just the name. Um, if it's a duplicate by name, they will not import it. That's good to know. These are just some of the tips that I wanted to share with you about your chart of accounts. If you need help setting it up or if you want to discuss your file to see if it has been set up correctly, don't hesitate to reach me on my website, EC QuickBooks Training, and to get a one hour consultation with me. And we can go over your account together and I can point out some of the things that um, can be better in your QuickBooks file. Um, or if you want me to do a a complete QuickBooks review. I also have that uh, listed on my website. So please stay tuned for the follow-up uh, videos in this QuickBooks Basic mini-series. I hope to see you on the next one.